Proud Boys marching on the Capitol on January the 6th. Proud Boys! A Washington court has now determined they were forcibly trying to stop the peaceful transfer of power. We're all Proud Boys! Among four men found guilty of seditious conspiracy, the group's former leader, Enrique Tarrio. I don't need to be in D.C. to keep the fight going. He wasn't even in Washington that day, but the prosecution argued he was key to what unfolded. The central role these defendants played in setting into motion the unlawful events of that day. Prosecutors said the Proud Boys saw themselves as Donald Trump's army, fighting to keep their leader in power no matter what. The defence argued Enrique Tarrio was a scapegoat for Donald J. Trump. He was the one who called the rally and had everyone show up. Several members of the Oath Keepers group were also recently found guilty of seditious conspiracy. The wider significance of this conviction is that multiple juries have now found that the events of January the 6th were not spontaneous, but the result of conspiracies involving people who believed Donald Trump's claims of a stolen election. It's more typical to start sort of with the, the lower level people who are involved and, and build your way up to the people who are the, the masterminds, the in instigators. Fueling speculation of a looming Trump indictment. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. Lengthy jail terms is what's next for the convicted Proud Boys. Seditious conspiracy alone carries a maximum of 20 years. Barbara Miller, ABC News, Washington.